N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, is an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compound with mucolytic properties that is used by the body to produce glutathione. It's the supplement form of cysteine, which is an amino acid found naturally in meat, fish, grains, and egg products. NAC is found only in small amounts in some fruits and vegetables. In the liver, it is transformed into glutathione, which is the most important low molecular weight antioxidant in cells and reduces inflammation in the body. NAC supplementation can replete glutathione levels in the body in order to reduce free radicals in any organ of the body. In the liver, patients with cystic fibrosis and smokers who have lower than normal glutathione levels have been reported to have chronic inflammation in their alveoli. NAC also improves fertility in both men and women by reducing the severity of oxidative stress, leading to DNA fragmentation and lipid peroxidation caused by the accumulation of reactive oxygen species. It has been reported that NAC significantly improved sperm parameters after three months of supplementation with NAC in men with astenoterotospermia, which is a sperm anomaly characterized by low motility of sperm. In women, it has been reported that NAC supplementation improved oocyte and embryo quality in patients with polycystic ovary syndrome undergoing intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Recently, studies have shown that NAC supplementation prevents COVID-19 from progressing. NSC is an old drug, and it has been known that it can boost the immune system, suppress viral replication, and reduce inflammation. In SARS-CoV-2, NSC has been demonstrated to inhibit the activation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, thus reducing the recruitment of monocytes. Inhibition of pro-inflammatory molecules is an effective therapy to counteract cytokine storm induced by the virus, which is associated with severely ill patients with COVID-19. In a recent case report, a COVID-19 54-year-old male patient with comorbidities in intensive care has been recovered on day 7 after receiving low-dose hydroxychloroquine and intravenous NAC. We would like to hear about your own experience with this topic. Leave a comment. If you have any friends who may find this information helpful or interesting, you can use the share button and share this video with them on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, or any other social media. Lastly, remember that it is important to talk to your doctor or other professional before beginning any sort of supplementation or treatment. Feel free to contact us if you want us to give you the contact information of professionals who work with our network.